Okay, I got the boards for the Coco 2 model 2631-34A. I like the way it came. Uh, it looks well made. It's pretty solid. And I like this color. It's pretty slick. I've assembled one of the boards. Here it is on the Coco 2. Now you'll notice uh, some differences from the original board. And let me see if I can put it on here so you can see. Okay, the one big difference is uh, the cart connector. It's a different form factor. Um, and then you'll notice that there's a chip. It's a 74 LSL2 that is not here. And although it isn't on the board, it is included. And it's the one that's here that's piggybacked. It was an afterthought onto the other 74 LS02. I didn't want to do that, so I added a spot for it over here. Okay. Um, other differences, um, you'll see that for the PIAs, I'm using the 6821 uh, modern replacements by WDC. In place of the salt chip, I have a pepper board. In place of the DAC, I have a DAC reboard. And in place of the dynamic RAM, I have an SRAM or a static RAM board. Um, then, of course, all the other support chips as you find here, which are still available off the shelf, even the EEPROM. This is an EEPROM. So the only original chips that you can buy online without destroying a cocoa, it's got, you have the SAM here, and I think this was old new stock or new old stock, however you say that, because I had to bend the chips on that one, the, uh, bend the legs on it. We have a 6309 CPU and we have a SAM chip. And I'll turn it on real quick so you can see. It is functioning. Let me see if I can put the keyboard on while holding this. This is uh, Challenging with one hand, but I think I did it. Okay, let's turn it on here. And there you go. Let's put in Mega Bug. Okay, there's Megabook. And there's Megabook. I will try and play Megabug real fast. Oops. All right, this is a good first test for Rev 1 of this board.